Happy New Year! Happy New Year! How are you? Welcome back to Make Family History 7. This is our monthly newsletter. And first we review what we did in December. December wasn't too busy because December tends to be busy with all the holidays. So I did two series and the first was Caring for Ancestors where I was over taking care of um, my mother's side of the family and it has that plot holds several generations. And I also introduced a book of mine. It's uh, the workbooks, the books that I I do up oftentimes. And this is called Unearth Your Heritage. And it's it's a tool to help you track who is buried where, basically. And to allow you to pass all this information on to, you know, to the future generations. So, you know, I didn't know where my great-grandparents were buried uh, until recently, until I started doing genealogy. And so this can be very helpful information for future generations. And I recommend, you know, getting this workbook and putting it together so you can hand it over to your children, to your nieces and nephews, etc. Now, the second that we did uh, was, a second series was Peter Michael's uh, genealogy sharing. Uh, I love talking to other genealogists. They oftentimes have done these really great projects. Some are published, some are unpublished. This gentleman published uh, a whole family history of the Michael family. And it includes uh, this, the, the original comes to colonial America looking for places to establish colonies for religious freedom. So that is, that resounds so much and is so cool. Now our family married into his family and that's how we we know each other. So that was the second uh, series in in December and hopefully in January uh, the objective is to wait. One is to show you how to use the workbook Unearth Your Heritage. I'll be filling out some of that and showing you how it helps me uh, track my relatives and you know what it might do in the future. Also, I have been very busy trying to break down a brick wall. Now, we've all had this, and we all know how frustrating it can be. And my brick wall is actually for my own last name. And I've gotten all the way back to my third great-grandfather, and it stops dead. Uh, and I'll explain to you how I kept looking now that I'm just focusing on that one thing, how I kept looking, uh, how I'm using Ancestry and other tools to see if I can get this bricks down from that wall and find out who my fourth great grandfather and grandmother are. Okay, so I will let you get back to your genealogy. Enjoy your January, recover from your holidays, and we'll talk again soon.